In this big bad world there's things I do When she needs help I come through Sometimes she hands me a jar of jiff And I feel good when I open it This is Eric with the Dramatic and why I chose this song, but before I tell you why I chose She Needs Me by Weezer off their new album, Van Weezer. Take a minute if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, turn that bell on to be notified of, um, I don't know if that's where it was, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere on your screen, um, to be notified of when we release new material. There's a lot of exciting things happening in the Drum Attic, y'all. Um, if you want to support the Drum Attic, there are a few ways you can do that. The links are in the description below. Please keep in mind our ongoing fundraiser for To Write Love on Her Arms. We have two t-shirt designs at our Teespring store. 100% of the profits from those two designs goes to support To Write Love on Her Arms. Okay, you guys, so I've been wanting to do another Weezer song here for a while. I'm a real big fan of their new album, and I was like, which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to do? And I couldn't remember when the last time I did a song and dedicated it to Loretta was. She gets the most dedication. She's a frequent dedicatee. Um, <laughs> um, let, let me... Um, the, so the refrain or the chorus in the song is, she needs me, she needs me, that's why I need her. And it is wonderful to feel not only needed, but wanted, to feel valued and important to somebody, to be loved unconditionally. But I'm going to tell you something about Loretta that I don't know if I've told you guys before. I'm going to keep this really short because last week's video was super long. Um, if you've been watching our channel long enough, you know that I lost my son in 2016. Um, and Loretta and I met just after the first year anniversary of Thomas's um, passing came. Well, we had known each other through church just like when both of our kids were little and all that stuff but i didn't really remember her and so we we uh we met two years um before we ended up going on a date in the meantime thomas had passed etc cetera, etc cetera. so that first year after having lost my son um i was i stayed busy i was doing a lot of theater i was directing shows i was acting in shows i was playing drums in shows i had a lot going on not that i didn't grieve but um, I stayed busy enough that it didn't overwhelm me. And then year two, when Loretta and I had gotten together, I felt like God just kind of slowed me down a lot so I could process and feel some stuff. And I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys. And I, I don't say this with any um, over-exaggeration or anything. 
if I had not had Loretta that year, I don't think I would have made it. It was that brutal, emotionally speaking. And, um, and to have somebody that understood and could, um, could just be a shoulder to cry on an ear that would hear me, you know, and um, if it hadn't been for her, her presence and not just, and it's not just anybody's presence. It was her presence that I needed in that time too, you know, like, I mean, I still need it, but like that time it was particularly crucial in that moment. I hope I'm making sense. Um, because the pain was so great that, um, had I been left alone, I probably would have taken my life. No melodrama. So on so many levels, I am thankful for Loretta. God saved me when he sent me Loretta. So Loretta, I love you. Uh, you are the love of my life. Um, I am so thankful that we get to share life together, that we get to share this amazing adventure together, that we get to be part of what's happening in the dramatic and the things surrounding that in our church and all of this and just doing life. I wouldn't want to be on this journey with anybody else. She needs me and I need her. We are um, perfect together. We're both in, very imperfect people, but together we're perfect. You guys, thanks for letting me rant about my beautiful, wonderful, amazing, lovely, um, sweet, loving, compassionate, uh, generous Loretta. Um, I know you guys like her too. <laughs> um, and now you'll like her more because she is, I've just shared a little a very, very personal window inside. I try to be transparent, Loretta and I both try to be transparent and to be real, um, but I don't think I've ever told that story here before. So that's a pretty pretty heavy one to share and a, and a tough thing to sometimes admit. If you're struggling with suicidal thoughts or with depression or anxiety, whatever the case may be, talk to somebody, get help. You are not alone. And in case nobody's told you today, you are loved, you matter, you have value. Thank you guys for stopping by. We will see you next time.